Hello gamers and viewers. Welcome to 9 to 5 game. The best cameras for vlogging now offer 4K resolution as standard. But there's more to a good vlogging camera than video quality alone. High frame rates will be important if you plan to capture slow motion cut scenes, with the top options offering up to 120 frames per second. If your workflow includes post-processing, 10-bit color depth will give you greater editing flexibility. The features you need from a vlogging camera will vary depending on what and how you like to shoot. We brought you top 5 of them for you decide which fits you the best for your creativity. Number 1. Sony ZV-1. For a long time, the Canon G7X Mark III was our favorite compact vlogging camera, but it's just been knocked off its perch by the excellent Sony ZV-1. By combining all of the best bits of Sony's RX100 series, for example, the RX100 VII's microphone port and autofocus, plus the RX100 V's bright 24-70mm f 1.8-2.8 lens, the ZV-1 really nails what most people want from a small vlogging camera. Sony's latest real-time tracking and IAF are the best around, and the ZV-1 also has a huge amount of depth for a compact camera including a built-in ND filter and profiles like S-Log2 for those who want to embrace color grading. Number 2. Fujifilm X-S10. Arguably the best all-round mirrorless camera at this price point, the Fujifilm X-S10 is adept at lots of different types of shooting, including vlogging. It's not the cheapest or smallest option in this guide, the Sony ZV-1 below is a better compact option, but in terms of quality and bang for your buck, it's our current top pick for video creators. Pair it with an XC15 45mm kit lens, and you have a superb vlogging setup. Inside the X-S10 is the tried and tested combination of a 26.1 MP X Trans CMOS 4 sensor and X Processor 4, which we've already seen in the Fujifilm X-T4. Number 3. Panasonic GH5 Mark II. The original Panasonic GH5 was a legendary camera thanks to its combination of class-leading 4K video specs and relatively small, affordable body with IBIS. The GH5 Mark II doesn't make big improvements to this existing formula, but it does add one particularly useful trick, wireless live streaming. With the Panasonic GH6 already on the horizon and likely to be the true upgrade to the GH5 from a video quality standpoint, live streaming is really the focus of the GH5 Mark II. Streaming quality is limited to 1080-60p and the GH5 Mark II's autofocus still lags behind the best. Number 4. DJI Pocket 2. We were big fans of the original DJI Osmo Pocket, but this sequel fixes a lot of its limitations and makes it the best compact option around for solo filmmakers. The Sony ZV-1 above trumps it for outright video quality, but if you tend to shoot a lot of walk and talk style clips to camera, then the Pocket 2's combination of a 3-axis gimbal and solid face tracking could make it more appealing. Compared to the Osmo Pocket, the DJI Pocket 2 brings a new larger sensor, a brighter lens, improved microphones and wider field of view, which means you don't have to hold it out at arm's length when talking to camera. Number 5. Sony ZV-E10. Looking for a compact vlogging camera, but one with more flexibility than the Sony ZV-1 or DJI Pocket 2. The ZV-E10 could well be your best option. It's based on the relatively old hardware of the Sony A6100, hence the relatively affordable price tag, but brings lots of video-focused features that make it a good alternative to the ZV-1 if you fancy changing lenses and focal lengths for different effects. The ZV-E10 is based on the same 24.2 MP APS-C CMOS sensor as many of its A6000 series stablemates, which is both good and bad news. It's a large sensor that produces impressive video and photo quality for the price, particularly in low light when compared to its smaller sensor rivals. If you have watched till here, please make sure you subscribe for more news, walkthroughs and much more exciting content about gaming. Do like 9 to 5 game if you love to watch these videos. And don't forget to share it to your friends and fellow gamers.